Okay. Yeah, I saw that, but I couldn't activate it. Now I can. Wipe your feet. Never! This was once the main marketplace of Fermello. Merchants from all over the underworld came here to hawk their wares and get precious goods to take back to the rest of Avernum, and even to the surface. The presence of the Shade has had a predictable effect on this center of commerce. The place is abandoned. Lichen and Moss have already begun to cover the stone tables. Is there a sage back here? This is used... Was this the way that went down to the Vanity lands? Passage south has been caved in by a magical explosion from the look of things. You've heard of this passage. Most of our knights have. Once years ago, a group of adventurers traveled uh, through it and down a long river. And in their journey, they made first contact between Avernum and the Vanatai. Since then, for some reason, the passage was sealed. There's been no contact between you or the Vanatai for years. Yes. Oh, he has a little portrait. There's a man hiding in this cave. He is old, filthy, skinny, and tired. He wears the robes of a mage, but worn and torn to a humiliating extent. He lo it looks like people have been sneaking food up to his cave, but not enough of it. When he was lying on his back on a pallet, staring up at the ceiling and thinking. When he sees you are an adventurer, he jumps up, seizes your hand, and shakes it. Yes, yes, I've met many adventurers in the past, but I can't remember ever being so happy to be visited. I'm Sage Townsend, and this miserable foul pit is my home for the moment currently engaging in the study of the shade afflicting us, and that is why I'm hiding here. You're a sage. Can you train me? Not in magical spells. You should go to the library for that. If you're not extensively schooled in the magical arts, I can provide some pointers and gen general magical technique. What do you got? Arcane lore and spellcraft. Okay, he doesn't know much. You know many adventurers? Yes, in my decades in Formello, I've met some of the most famous and illustrious adventurers in all of Avernum. I've seen many unhappy times. You must have met all the crews, then. Now, why are you hiding back here? Because the shade only attacks those it can see, those passing by on the road, and so on. That is why everyone stays indoors as much as they can. Which is, alas, not always. I've spent so much time studying it and speaking with outsiders, I believe if I left, I would be an instant target. You're studying the shade? Yes, I am, as best I can. Its power is so great that I do not think we will be able to defeat it without considerable insight and knowledge. I'll watch it as it stands still, select its prey, fades away, and returns. And one day, I hope to have an idea of how to defeat it. Shade is here now. We can all feel it. I'm currently resting to build my strength so that I may watch it further. It's a very draining vigil. How might it be defeated? I don't know. It blows off our warriors. Barely aff the blows of our warriors barely affected the foul creature. I would not recommend any heroics. You will only end up in interestingly shaped blocks of ice find its weakness, I think we must find its origin. We must find its creator. And who created it? That, I think, is the greatest mystery of all. It is the heart of all the others. A mystery that I hope one may solve. He looks down at the mark on your hand, then back up at you. I have told you what I know. To learn more, you must rely on your own resources. How does it select prey? Nobody is sure. It stands there, still and silent as a statue, for days at a time. Then one day, someone is walking down the road and it swoops out, chases them down, and freezes them. There is no sense to it, and no hope. Nobody escapes. Sometimes, if someone runs far enough and fast enough, the shade loses interest in its prey and returns to its home. But sadly, this rarely happens. I also heard, learn not to run indoors when we are selected. This usually only means the death of everyone in the building. It's possible... To sh it is possible to share the shade's rage with others. You know what makes someone more likely to be selected? 
dealing with outsiders, speaking with merchants, travelers, adventurers, knowledge and cooperation, attract the loving attention of the shade. I do not know if the creator of the shade made it in order to isolate us and keep us Invernites from cooperating with one another, but that is the result. Does it arrive and leave? This is in itself not interesting. It appears, it disappears. The question is, think is, why does it travel? There are several shades afflicting of the cities of Avernum. Our shade splits its time between here and Silvar to the south. We're not sure why, but I favor the simplest explanation. This way it can ruin two cities instead of one. Hmm. Hmm. Well, you know, I gotta throw myself at it at least once, but it's going to be a horrible slaughter. You know, when he said park, I figured it was gonna be this park. Well, I've engaged the fast travel device. I assume it's a fast travel device, but I don't know what it does. Let's uh, save the game. Go up here and get annihilated. Hey, buddy. Hey. Glide noiselessly towards you. Arms outstretched. Webs of ice travel across the ground ahead of it, seeking you. Fight or f fight or flight or futile combat. Ah! Get wrecked. Eighty-four percent chance to hit. Maybe not that close. Repel the spirit! <laughs> Get wrecked! <laughs> okay. Might be affecting the creature with your blows! But you don't think get to think so for long. The creature emits a pulse of dark energy. The mist around it grows thicker. They soak into its form, knitting its wounds together. Moments it's completely restored. Okie dokie then. So it is literally impossible to kill it. It has so much health. Not to be a challenging fight, but just so you can't kill it in one round. You have to puzzle out its death. Gotcha. <laughs> Clang, yawn. <laughs> You're not a very good combatant there, Carl. Okay. Scavenging rats. Testing circle. Far northwest of... Or for mellow. Scavenging right. An apple? Yay! And we will uh, work on these rats as we make our way around, and we will stop by. the testing circle while we're in the area.
He lived. was hanging out. The littlest necromancer. What do you got? Gremlin wine. Hmm. An adventure in a bottle. out and brush the crystal tip with your finger. Light pulses blue, then red, then much brighter blue. And then, and then the light splits up into four parts. The lights drift out of the crystal. They walk through the cave air and come to rest at the runes at the edge of the circle. Lights hang there and grow stronger, start to heat up. The glowing uh, forms start to assume humanoid shapes. There they are. bigger. It's a testing shade. Ouch. Jeez Louise. Stop her from dying. Thank you. Well, that wasn't too hard. Let's uh, make sure I don't have to do it again, though. Four rat tails. 
How many do I need? 